Right. Hello and welcome back to another video. And today we're doing a tutorial on how to dual boot your computer so you can have a Mac operating system on your thing. So uh, Apple op the Apple operating system we're going to install is Mountain Lion or Lion, whatever it's supposed to be. But this is what I did. The things you'll need to do need to get is I act ac a t a t k o s um l two m which is mountain lion stuff so just download that it's four gig if you have that much download four gig okay now next thing you'll have to get is the multi beast multi bisque you'll be because you can't ha like run this um, in Windows you have to run it in Mac so that this will help you on the other side so you take this install file and then plug it onto your USB so it will be on the other side uh, now you need the partition tool so you can partition part of your hard drive, hard drive off so you can use it as the Mac operating system. Next thing is TransMac, which we will be using this to burn the iActos file across. Because Windows does not know how to, um, yeah, how to do that. That's why you need Mac stuff. And you also need a a disk of some kind to get you started. Uh, what else would you need in this? Yeah, nothing really. You need to just make sure you like if it if you get it wrong, it will be fine. Okay. First of all, you open up your position manager, which I already have here because I've been making some changes. Go to your disk which you want to um you want to have the dual boot on it, click on the C drive which is normal, go resize and move, and you can resize it to how big you want the, the operating system to have. For me I only ha let it have 40, but um, at the moment I only have 40 given to it so you can select up to how much you want you can give it like a hundred gig if you want to it's like 90 something gig but it doesn't matter you can choose the amount you want I'm gonna leave it sneeze, <coughs> oh, sneeze inbound I'm gonna leave it as it is because 40 gig is around how much you really need if you're going to just use it for recreational uses and coding, which I really want to get for. By the way, this is all free software. Okay, now once you've done that, you go into it, um, then go, since I don't have it, I'll do it to this one here. Bah. <laughs> well, you go into it, and there should be a thing called create partition once you're uh, once you're, you're in the partition uh, let me just go move make it, make it like 5 gig go ok uh, let's do a thing let's do a thing come on usually it doesn't take long oh wait I can't do it while recording oh yeah I can ok now go create don't name it anything. Primary, set it as primary, and set it as unformatted. Uh, that can be whatever. Don't change any of these and go OK. That'll be the K drive. I am going to delete this. Go delete the unallocated. And go here and then go to Gotta merge these two together. 
wait. To merge them back together, just go create, go primary. Go NTS and go, okay. Go merge. Disk and partition boot in the memory. It says a disk. Oh well. Click on that one and go merge. Okay. Go okay. That's how you fix them together. It will be back to normal now. For you, you will just have the 40 you partitioned. Uh, make sure it's unformatted. And set, uh, set as a primary. Once you've done that, click apply. I have seven because I've tried to do something. And you have to reboot straight after you've done this. Remember, you have to download all of this stuff before you start editing. Okay. I'm going to restart my computer now. And I'll be right back. 